it. I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm always disappointed when we, when, when we don't get to do stuff. Yeah. So I'm always disappointed. I mean, cause I like to just do stuff, all kinds of stuff. And, yeah. You know, like you got to work today, the fourth Avenue street fair is going on. I'm thinking we grab a cam, we go down there, we shoot some video and stuff, but can't do that either. So. Cause they got to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> running a, running a, a board for a, a broadcast remote that's going on this morning, so I got to do that, and that's uh, that's at one thirty. So that'll go one thirty to three thirty. Then I'm going to then we're going to Guitar Center. Mm-hmm. We're looking for thirty foot run cables. So while a computers behind us, we got a couple now, but you'll see more behind us. We'll all be running our Skype broadcast, and they'll be running through the board up up here on the desktop. So that'll be kind of cool. So here's the news, and I. I and please forgive me, but I've been, uh, I've, I've actually almost, I've gotten close to signing a non disclosure agreement uh, on what's going on uh, after the first of the year, but, um, uh, and I've promised not to, to talk about it. All I can tell you is it's going to be huge. At least that's what I've been told by some producers, but um, uh, here's, here, here's what's happening. So I got this part time job at Citadel, which is great. I love Citadel Broadcasting. Uh, I'm not saying that because they're paying me because I'm getting paid very little, but it's a job and I'm happy to have it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I, I can, and he's probably telling the truth because I know the people that are working at the local Citadel property and I've known them for a very long time and I like these people. So he's, he's, I, 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 I'll support him on that. He's probably telling the truth. I'm sure he is. Well, and I've worked with, I've worked with good people before in other broadcast operations. Um, I like the people at KLPX. Mm. I like some of the people at KNST. I like some of the people at KGVY that I've worked at. And it just seems like it, the, where they are at right now. And as Herb told me, who is the, the big grand poobah over there, mm. it's like a really tight knit group of people, people that have hung on, that have been there and they take care of them. Now they're doing multiple jobs, yeah. But they're all well taken care of. They seem to like it. I'm Buzz Jackson on Cam FM mm-hmm. is a phenomenal guy. Cricket, uh, yeah. who I've heard about for years, is wonderful. Um, Dusty Chandler, you know, all these people that are there. I mean, that's and you got Herb, and then you've got you know Shannon. That's kind of like the the crew and Tim Tyler and all that. So they've finally I'm getting an air shift next Friday. I will be actually on the air doing a show, which I've not. I've not done a show on FM in three years. I mean, if you think about it, yeah. I've done AM, which is fine and dandy and everything, and I've done AM talk, but I haven't done FM music in that long. Mm. And so it's going to be fun. Uh, next Friday, 10 o'clock till 3 o'clock, uh, it is um, Arizona time, which is like 9 o'clock till 2 o'clock Pacific time, and it will be, um, they stream online at uh, K at 107.5. So that's their their website. So yeah, we get a chance to check it out. It's uh, it's fun. It's a little departure. You won't hear me talking about processors or yeah. motherboards or memory or anything. You'll be rocking. I'll, I'll be rocking. Uh, and actually, I like the the format of the station now. It's seventies, eighties, sixties, seventies, and eighties. So uh, on the weekends they do eighties weekends, and you'll hear Janet Jackson. Hmm. I've I mean, wanted to work it's there. It's different. Yeah, K Hit and because uh, they have K Hit and Bob in there. Right now. Because because I've I've worked at different places with with a lot of the people that that work there now yeah and I've had multiple tours through that building because I used to work it when it was K Cub and, and and well it was it is it's K Cub and Kim FM when they, uh, both were country stations right so I've worked there you know and done various jobs there um, so I know the building well matter of fact I'm looking for look for a k- kind of grayish uh, beer mug from Germany. <laughs> Because I lost it in there, and I haven't been able, I haven't found it. I've been hoping somebody would you find want me to look it. Look for it. It should, yeah, it should have my name on it. it. Should have slick either on the bottom or on the side of it. So if you happen to see that, that's mine. All right. I've been looking for it for years. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would find it. Let me know. I'll look but today. If I find it, it, I'll let you know. It's probably a Buzz Jackson's desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be. I mean, it's a nice beer mug. I wouldn't be surprised if it's still in there. <laughs> I have to take a look and see. <laughs> but that's funny. Um, but yeah, no, I you know now that you guys have hired Andy. Well, who knows? <laughs> drop the word, you know. They they just hired three of us part timers, mm-hmm. and then I guess two of them they're they're running boards and stuff. And I'm getting the air shifts because of my experience, so it'll right. be fun. I'm I'm looking forward to that. So next week, so then so that that happens, and I'm pretty excited about how you know how that has happened. But here's the other deal. Um, about a year and a half ago, I was approached by uh, a guy that I met out at bike nights. Uh, we used to do bike nights. I used to ride a motorcycle, and we would go to, with the radio station I was working for, um, 
um, we would go out to these events and this guy showed up. I remember talking to him and he's just like really cool. And um, uh, he was in the business, in the industry, the film industry as a stuntman, set medic. And had done a lot of stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes you meet these people and sometimes they're, they're talking out the corner of their mouth. This guy, I could tell, knew what he was talking about and had actually worked and actually been in the business. I was in the business back in the 80s uh, in production uh, and as a production assistant and special effects rigger for Wizard Effects Group um, for, for like three, four days, maybe. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's once you do it and you get paid, you say, OK, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm doing it's on it. The resume. And then I worked in uh, in television for the city of Norwalk. So, I mean, that was it was fun. It was fun experiences. But um the, the cool thing is, is this guy, you know, we, we hit off, we talk. Well, I guess, you know, he's been working in the biz and suddenly something has come up and uh, my name was dropped and it was like, yeah, let's look at this guy. And, you know, unbeknownst to me, these people are looking at seeing the stuff I've done and what I'm doing. So I get this call uh, from a producer and there's a project in the works. And all I can tell you is it's a, uh, it's a huge product project. Um, I'm not going in as as crew. I'm going in as, as staff, I've, as cast. Uh, to me and two other people. That's all I can say. And uh, uh, wouldn't you know it? I knew we were going to be sh- shooting in January, and I thought we were going to be shooting January 10th. I thought that was going to be the start date, which is perfect because that meant I could go to CES for two three days, and then get back and get to in time ready for this this shoot for the pilot. And if the pilot gets bought, it's going to be good. I mean, uh, basically, four months out of the year working, and you know, uh, who knows what it can do for it can actually do things for Tech Talk Radio as well. Right. So, is that will not go away? <laughs> I could be in the episode where I'm chasing Andy down the street as he's pulling off to do something. <laughs> Wait, I can't go. What do you mean? Wait. So, uh, of course, I I talked to the producer this week and. Um, the producer gave me the news that we've moved the shoot date up. Of course they did. To January 3rd. We need to get this in the can right away. And because uh, they've got some people who are ready to spend the money. They want to see it. Uh, and you got to get them while it's there. Yeah. So um, the shoot is taking place January 3rd through January 9th. The mm, same time as January 3rd through January 9th. Isn't there something? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not going to sit there and blow a chance at something like this. So I did not even bring up CES. I just said, cool, be there. I'll be there. Yeah. And uh, so now the goal is is to get slick, good old slick, to CES, to Las Vegas. So uh, we are... <laughs> Close up Did on you that. take? Yeah. yeah, there you take go. Take a still. <laughs> so we are looking uh, currently looking for sponsorships for Slick. Uh, we did sponsorships before a couple years ago when it was you, me, and and we went. And I think it was uh, we got about I think four hundred bucks out of uh, Comcast. So we're trying to see if we can. I think now it's going to cost about seven hundred bucks to send you. So we're looking at it. We're we're trying everything we can. So we'll we'll see what happens. Um, we we're going to start a campaign, uh, you know, like uh, we'll send Slick to see. Yes, this poor deprived boy who needs his electronics. Yes, he and needs catch warts. <laughs> and he needs catch warts. <laughs> yeah, I, do. I can. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, Slick needs to go to Las Vegas. Why deprive this man of CES? Why deprive this man of AVN? That's right. I get my press passes for CES and AVN. Yeah, I love it. Thank you for signing us up because uh, now I'm getting them too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. You know, I, I wanted to get mine first and then talk it over with you because Andy, Andy, <laughs> I, I'm the kind of guy that will run naked through a crowd and not even think about it. Right. Andy's kind of like, well, wait a minute. I have to. I have to. How much is it? How much am I getting paid for this? <laughs> Because we did go to CES once, and Andy was not comfortable. And then I, that's okay. Me, I wasn't ready. I was like, I, I'm ready to go to the back of the building and go, I haven't seen everything yet. You know? <laughs> and everyone. <laughs> so, Andy's, I was, Andy's uh, a little it, bit more conservative. I don't know if I would say I'm more conservative. I, But what I would say is that I was completely claustrophobic no. during that. I, I was... I don't know why I really wanted to get out of the the building. We were walking around. We had gone through one section of the AEE, and it was actually 
rather pleasant. Okay. That, but that was at the beginning. That, that was, was at the very beginning. That was Remember like that? the big entrance and we were fine. And I was like, oh, this is neat. It's not too many people. So we're leaving. We're thinking, boy, I was I was unimpressed. Uh, you know, not not that much going on in there. It was uh, like a small trade show. But we only went around like the first block because you weren't really comfortable. <laughs> and I think maybe. Well, you know, no, no, you no, mention- no. Don't you remember? Because then we found the stairs. And we said, oh, what's this leading to? And the guy said, oh, this is where the uh, big convention oh, we're, okay, is. Okay, we're talking two separate areas. Okay, yeah. so you're talking about, first, it, it, <laughs> they have different things going on at AVNAWE. One is, just like a, um, an expo, a, a convention, and people are selling items and services and all kinds of, that's where we went first, which was downstairs. And Andy was fine there, because we actually did some shooting on, you know, this does this, and, and these are the products for that, and that kind of thing. Right. Andy was fine there. It wasn't crowded. It wasn't loud. Had lots of uh, space to walk. That was fine. On the next floor up was where uh, the entertainers were <laughs> with the loud. I mean, you know, the music was loud and, and you had fans there, too. And fans were trying to get autographs and people were lining up at tables to try to get pictures with their favorite uh, act- actors and actresses. And that's when Andy started to feel a little got to go, got to go. <laughs> And I and you know what I kind of do understand that, but at the well, same plus, time, don't forget I was carrying a, a big old laptop, some cameras. We had mm-hmm. all our equipment with us. Mm-hmm. I kind of understand that, and and here's how it came across to me. And I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying here's how it came across to me is that you didn't want anybody touching you. <laughs> <laughs> and I get, I get, no. you know, yeah. I kind of understand. I understand that. <laughs> Whereas to me, I know there's a shower back at the hotel. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You could hold me uh, off taking there, pictures with ladies in latex. I don't know. That yeah. wasn't that wasn't for me. Yeah. No. I I could. I'm, I'm looking at it. This, this is how self absorbed I am. I'm looking at it from a business standpoint. I want to be able to show a picture. going, I was with her and with her and with him and with that. And I did this and I did that. You know. I'm. All, it's all about the promotion for me. I don't care. Well, you know, the <laughs> There's no th- such thing as bad publicity. <laughs> the sad thing is, is uh, Gloria uh, wanted to go. And wanted to go to that this year. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll take Gloria. <laughs> well, she's going to be free for a week. Uh, you know maybe what? Maybe you and her go. No, if, I don't want to do that. If it's okay with you and it's okay with you and her, <laughs> and you willing to let me and Gloria run nuts in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't trust you. As, as You'll long, get her in trouble. As, that's probably true. As long as you got enough bail money for both of us. I mean, because if, if, if Gloria wants to, because I'll... I'll take Gloria. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> she may not come back uh, the same person that you knew. <laughs> I think yeah, I think she's planning on coming out to the uh, to shoot. So uh, hopefully they'll allow that. I'll sneak her into my motel room. <laughs> Gloria would be my party buddy. I, I didn't know Gloria rolled like that. I got to have a long talk with Gloria. But uh, as soon as I... <laughs> I tell you... <laughs> As soon as uh, we'll be going out down the, the three of us, and Andy will be Andy will be in the corner. And me and Gloria will be out running around doing stuff, just you know, anywhere in any place, all over the country, all over the world. I'll be well, getting... so where's Andy? Andy's sitting back in the corner, just hoping we don't get into trouble. Uh, I can hear the yell in the distance. <laughs> <Slick>! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I tell you what. All right, everybody, gearing up for the holiday season. Uh, one of the companies gearing up is Apple. And you know, when I get a when I get a, a package around Christmas time from Apple, I get really excited. I uh, bet you. Let me. Can I guess? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Guess. That, that guess size what's of in box, this box is from Apple. Now, now here's my first guess, and there's a reason my first. It's my first guess. I my first guess is is the latest. Well, wait a minute. Hang on. Let me back it up. Uh, my, I was about to go with the latest iPod Touch. However, that really hasn't been released yet. And the reason I say it is because they did send him as a present previously an iPod Touch. So maybe it's not an iPod Touch. Okay. Let me take that back. Apple product that size in the box. It's too small for a tablet. Uh, what's the latest thing? Okay. You know what? This this sounds like a safe guess. How about that Air Mouse? The Air Mouse. That's what they sent last year. Oh, darn. Okay. <laughs> then let me wipe that out. Okay. All right. They sent... Okay. So they sent my iPod Touch. He's already had the Air Mouse. What else could be small? Let me try this. All How right. about the wireless touchpad? The wireless touchpad. Now, tell me about the wireless touch. The wireless touchpad is the one that you... It's... It's... You, you actually... You, wirelessly yeah it's really with. designed for apple <laughs> it's really designed for apple products like apple notebooks like the macbook and the macbook pro right so that would be my 
that would be my first because I can't. Here's the thing. Let me just say this out loud. I can't imagine they're sending you an iPhone four. Although I could be way off, and it turns out to be an iPhone four. But I'm good. You know. Let me show you what it is. Okay. Like, here we go. Apple. Who I've, they've always sent something very cool around the holidays. Mm. I did get an iPod Touch, and I did get a, um, an Air Mouse. Now they're sending personalized cards. <laughs> actually, oh, yeah, here's nice. what they, <laughs> that that's would nice. be nice. Here's what they wanted to do. They wanted to let us know that you can actually go on to Apple.com, mm. and if you have a Mac, this is very cool. But if you don't have a Mac, um, you know, I think you can still purchase these cards just by uploading your photos and stuff. But this works really good with a Mac because you can actually take the photos out of your, uh, you know, out of your iPhoto program and upload them and make these wonderful holiday cards. If you haven't sent your holiday cards out yet, oh, okay. All right, so let me show you there. I don't know who these families are, but you know, you can customize them. Um, I want you to feel the whoa, feel the um, texture on that slick. Heavy stock is not cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and out of all the cards, they say they got nice envelopes too that you can, uh, you know, you can see that as well. We're showing that on the camera. Um, here's here's the official word from Apple. All right, here's here's what it says. It says, "Add a touch of elegance this holiday with letterpress cards. You can delight your family and friends with the elegant look and feel of letterpress cards this holiday season with iPhoto 11 on your Mac. Uh, you can create custom letterpress cards personalized with your own photos and text." All right, uh, combining traditional printing techniques with modern digital photography. Oh, their family's upside down there. Uh, each iPhoto letterpress card is made from premium paper and produced using a century-old printing method. Uh, they have 27 beautifully crafted designs with matching envelopes. It's kind of neat, too, because you get the Apple logo on the back. Yeah. Uh, they run at two ninety nine a card, which is cheaper than what you're going to spend for the cards of this quality with your photo on them at a store uh, and to get them bulk made up. So you can even put photos in the inside as well, which is kind of neat. And again, customizing. I think this is the only one that I'd actually be able to use. Uh, it's from the Taylor family. <laughs> <laughs> which, you know, for those of you who really know there. me. Is it a different Taylor family? Yeah, no, yeah hold on. on. For those of you that really know me, yeah, here it is. It actually, we were excited. So, oh, I could actually use one of these. It says, Happy Holidays. From the Taylor family, see that? Yeah. All right, and then we'll we'll pull that back there slowly, Sue. And then if you open it up, there's a whole different family in there. <laughs> so Gloria had this idea. She said, "Well, why don't we just take it and um, <laughs> photo paste my head, Gloria's head, and Scarlet and Destiny's head right on there, <laughs> really customize it." That's what I thought you were going to do. They don't but, have uh, one that says uh, "Happy Holidays from the Slick Family." <laughs> no, so and I think uh, it, to be able to use this, I think you do need iPhoto 11. So yeah, if you, you know, I haven't had a chance to talk to my friends at Apple that sent this over, but um, here's the deal: um, uh, what you need to do is go to Apple.com and just give you an idea, of just some of the different things you can do there, and you get more information about that. Especially if you're a Mac head and you're using. You might even not be a Mac head. You might just be using a Mac. I apologize. Um, yeah, I've actually got it open on my screen here. For now, you know, for those of those who are who take stenography, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to, go to Apple dot com. It's it's Apple dot com in the iLife area under Create Letterpress Cards, or just Apple dot com. Do a search iLife, and then maybe search for Letterpress Cards. You know, one or both are or the same. But once nice. you get to iLife, you should be able to find it. There should be a link there because it just says, there's a little link there that says letterpress cards, read more. You click on it and you're, you're there. Another reason I want to get the Mac. I really want to get a Mac Mini. I need the MacBook Pro. I, you know, I just, I'm a big fan. Big fan of the MacBook Pro. Big, big yeah. fan. Big. MacBook Pros are nice. It can be a bit, uh, can be a bit pricey though. I was talking to somebody the other day who said that, uh, yeah, her boss bought a MacBook Pro and bought uh, the one that's 3500 bucks. Mm. Wow. It's kind of nice. Speaking of Mac. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Speaking of Apple. Uh, I double-checked on, and I posted this on my Facebook. I probably should go to my Facebook account real quick just to check my notes here. But um, I posted this on my Facebook account. Um, the dual-camera Apple iPad is on the way. Dual camera Apple iPad, mm -hmm. and this is per. I got this uh, on uh, off of New York Daily News. It's also my Dig accounts. So if you go to Dig and do a search for it, you'll probably find the link. Um, here, here's the gist of it. I'm going to read just paragraph out of paragraph two. All right. 
And I think paragraph two ought to, ought to cover everything. Okay. Uh, sorry, paragraph three of the story from uh, the New York Daily News. Touchscreen chip designer Wintech, W-I-N-T-E-K, battery maker Simplo Technology, and AVY Precision, which is a maker of covers for electronic products, are among suppliers for the next batch of iPads, sources say. And uh, those sources, they say one of those three, here's the quote, one of those suppliers said the revamped model, talking about the iPad, would feature front and rear cameras, while another source said the new model would be slimmer, lighter, and boast higher resolution display. So leakages from one, (laughs) or probably from two of three. Right. They're saying they have three sources, and one of them said this, and another one said that. Wow. So the new iPad is coming with two cameras according to leakages from sources who have ties with Apple, not from Apple. Ties with Apple, but not there at Mm. Apple. I don't know. I, I, you know, I always get, uh, I'm always a little nervous around rumors, especially when it comes to Apple, because they are so tight-lipped. They're pretty mm. good at that stuff as well. So am I, but these, these are, you know, a chip designer and a battery maker and a maker of covers. Mm. They got to have the Especially with the maker of covers. Yeah. yeah they got to have it. You like people at Autobox or Otterbox or wherever yeah. else. Thank you. Card back. <laughs> so, so watch for that, kind of. But thank you, Apple, for the cards and everything. Appreciate that. Um, I, you know what I think would be fun is to actually ship these holiday cards out to, should I do this to friends and family and just say, um, Apple sent me these cards. I'm using them. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. Cause I do that all the time. I, I recycle stuff. I, like I'll, when we go, when we go to hotels, right. I steal. Yes. Steal all the, uh, the st- stationery and letterhead. <laughs> and the oh, I do that too. I steal all that stuff and I'll send letters and notes to people using it. <laughs> Just just to see what kind of reaction I get. And they go, what are you doing in Saskatchewan? <laughs> <laughs> What's great is to do it yeah, years later. Yeah, I can't tell you. <laughs> How yeah. about the Fred Harvey Motor Lodge? <laughs> <laughs> I, lo- I love using st- uh, paper from other hotels and motel. I, just, I don't know why. It's just weird. I just love that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. All right. Um, okay. One uh, one of the things. So that's one thing we got in this week. Uh, that of course from Apple. Another thing that we got in this week, and Slick has over on his side, which is pretty darn awesome, uh, is from uh, our friends at Sprint. Now we interviewed um, uh, uh, one of the representatives from Natalie Papage from uh, from Papai, I should say, from Sprint uh, yesterday. Now we haven't got that audio up on the website, but it should be up uh, by end of the weekend. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of audio to put up this week uh, that uh, of interviews we've done over the last couple of weeks, so we'll have those up there. Uh, but um, you can check out the interview. We talk about some of the cool ideas for the uh, holiday gift giving season uh, with Christmas coming. People are buying phones, you know, smart plans. The Peel, which I, I want one. I want the Peel. The Peel. The Peel is a Wi-Fi device that can uh, also be hot spotted to two different computers. Uh, and then you could plug your iPod Touch right into the peel. Okay. And you have instant Wi-Fi right there. So I could be anywhere with the iPod Touch oh, right, and right, use right. Wi-Fi Okay, features. yeah, you were telling me about that. And I like that. And then if I want to, I have my, uh, for, you know, 30 bucks a month, hmm. I can uh, hotspot two computers with it, and I can hotspot my laptop. Is the peel on the blog? I believe it is. Yes, it is. I did do a story on it. We're waiting to get one, then we'll put it on the website. P-E-E-L? P-E-E-L. Okay. P-E-P-E-L. The peel. Blog at tiktokradio.com. And it sells for about 79 bucks. Hmm. And no contract necessary. You just pay the 30 bucks a month, and you get the high Wi-Fi, the data plan, the whole bit. And I believe it's five, gig of, five gigabytes transfer, okay. which is not bad. Yeah. You know, I think, five, I think it's five gig. So... Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to get, if we could get it for a month, I'd oh. like to get it and use it because I'm a heavy, de- heavy, heavy, heavy duty, u- duty user. So I'd like to get it, use it, and then uh, then we could post a review to give people an idea of what a, you know, what a heavy duty user's data use might be like. Well, the only thing I'm, I'm <clears> thinking <throat> is the product actually came out just before Thanksgiving. So it was ready for just in time for Black Friday. And I don't have any data on if they were able to sell well, you know, what the deal was with that. Yeah. Speaking of Black Friday, I guess uh, everything is good, which yeah. is sub- very subjective. Um, but 
it's not going to be great. It looks like the holiday season is not going to be great. People are spending, which I thought was really a great idea. I'm surprised it didn't happen last year. I guess this year a lot of people, they're spending money, cash, right. not charging like they like they have been in the yeah. past. People are putting away the charge cards. And some of them, I guess, or they've just lost taken away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> which is which is good. I mean, that's the way it, it really should have been and should be. Yeah, I people that that go overboard on the holidays. I have a, just the logic of it. Just totally is always always a. Well, you know the, the the nice thing, the thing about a, a credit card that I for those that don't have them yet, and I'm trying to get my daughter to understand this philosophy. The credit cards are really nice to have. I mean, it's great. When you're out somewhere and you decide, oh, I want this. I mean, and, and now I, with a credit card, I don't have to wait. I can get it now, and then I'll just make little payments on it. Yeah. You know, that's the whole thing. It's like, you know, QVC does with their easy pay mm. thing. It's like, oh, I can have it now. I'll just pay out 50 bucks uh, every month, which works for some people. Okay. There's no interest in that situation. But that's how credit cards companies make money. It's all interest. Yeah. They're not doing it out of the goodness of their heart. They're doing it because they're going to make a buck off of you. Right. And sometimes more bucks than they should. But that's you know that's the whole point. That's how that's how we got our first camera. That's how we got our light kit. We got an American Express card, and I was like, "Ooh, cool!" Yeah. I had a, like a five thousand dollar limit, and it was like, "Let's let's do it." I'll get the camera. I don't have to wait. You know, whereas before I would have said, "Okay, I need to save, put away," and a year later I'll be able to get a camera. I probably would have been able to get a better camera. My lighting kit, same thing. It was six hundred bucks for the lighting kit. We'll just uh, I get it right now. Whereas I would have saved. You know, and we've we've taken that whole idea out of saving, which I think needs to come back, yeah. which maybe people are, are bringing back. I, I I almost think that borders on political talk, which I hate, but no, that's I don't the way think it so. is. I, no, I because this has to do with gadgets, technology, and and budgeting yourself and being mm-hmm. careful. I it, my experience and my my theory on this is is unless you're upper middle class as far as income goes. And, you know, that can also be debatable, but I'm, this is where I'm, where I'm positioning my, my, my statement. Unless you're upper middle class, I think in order to understand just how bad abusive credit, and, and I'll use the word abuse, can be, you're going to have to hurt yourself to learn the hard way. Because even I had to, like you were talking about, you know, your, your credit purchases. I remember when I, I, I applied for most of my life to get a credit card, never got one, didn't never felt bad about it. I'm like, I, you know, I get it. I don't make enough money and yeah. these other people. I get it. I understand. Then I get a credit card. I think the first time I actually got a credit card was Discover. And I think that's because they lowered their standards. Right. And I was like, okay, this is nice. Thank you very much. And I, I got the credit card, put it in my wallet, left it there. Right. I had, I'm, I'm going to guess like you said, I think I had, they gave me like a $5,000 limit. Cool. Nice. And I didn't use it because I didn't need it. Right. You know, I lived off, oh. I lived within my budget. Yeah, and if you don't use it, what do they do? <laughs> well, well, they didn't do anything. No. They didn't do anything. Oh. Um, however, after after some time had gone by, I needed, and because I have always needed, but I was able to live without it, but then I decided, okay, I've got the credit card, I need a good computer. So there I did. I took, the, I took the credit card, went over to Circuit City when they were open at the time, and bought a good computer. I got a good notebook at the time. Uh, the largest hard drive available, 10 gigabytes. I maxed out with RAM, 64 megabytes. It had like a 15-inch screen on it, um, DD, DVD player, CD-ROM, CD, uh, CD burner. Right. Um, I mean, and I, and I got this computer to make it last for a while. That was, you know, I thought I was doing an investment thing. Right. Which I still believe I was. The total computer cost me about $3,500. And I was willing to live with it. I'm like, okay, oh, I spent the $3,500... And I'll do what I have to do to pay it off. Right. So like you said, I'm thinking in my mind, I can afford the minimum payments. Yep. So I'm making the minimum payments on a regular. Didn't miss them. I was doing good. And then I got hurt financially. Yeah. Now I can't pay any of my bills, especially the credit card. Yeah. That goes to the bottom of the of the pay list. Yeah. I think uh, heating and food and uh, a roof over your head yeah. first, right? Yep. In addition to it, once I got the Discovery card, all the other uh, uh, debit services wanted to jump on board. <gasps> they gave Slick a credit card. We'll give him one too. Yeah. Now, because everybody now somebody, use ours. Yeah. Because yeah, because yeah, they know that you're going to spend. Now they want you to spend. They want your money too. Yeah. So the companies before they wouldn't give you credit. Now they're willing to give you credit because somebody else gave you credit, <laughs> and they don't want them to get your money. They want your money. It's a vicious cycle. Yeah. So you got to be careful. You got to be careful. So, I, like I said, I think people have to get hurt first before they realize, 
okay, now here's the smart way to go about it. You got to hurt yourself first. Yeah. And then, you know. Yeah. Then then you learn. Yeah. Oh, I've, so trust the next me, I've time, learned. The next time you get a credit card, I bet you won't use it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, unless absolutely, absolutely necessary. Well, and we go the, the saving route. Now we finally, you know, I'm working a little and finally have some money coming in. It's it's nice to be able to say, okay, I need some cables for this. Now I can spend the money on this stuff. But it, we're not putting it on the credit card. Hmm. You know, we, we do have one card. We're not doing it. Where it's, hey, can we afford this now? If we can afford it now, let's do it. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, that takes me back. That reminds me of a, an interview you did, which I'm trying to go to yeah. now on our blog, blog.tiktokradio.com. You talked to Bruce Hover? Yeah, Bruce Hover. Who is a, who's, who's a good friend of ours. He's a buddy. Uh, over at the Steel Series, steelseries.com. Like and uh, within your interview, Bruce mentioned a, a new payment system, or it was not really new, but a payment system he's involved with called, here it is, Pay Near Me, which I wanted to mention. Right, exactly. Because I think it's a great idea. Bruce was saying if you go to his website and you see stuff, you know, products, headphones, or whatever that you like and that you want, and you don't have a credit card, you don't have a checking account, you don't have blah, blah, blah. Here's one way of, of going, of uh, making the payment and getting, getting the, uh, the item. Um, you can go to like a 7-Eleven. There are other places too. But you can go to like 7-Eleven, put the money on a service called Pay Near Me, have them take the funds then, apply it to the Steel Series purchase, and Steel Series will send you the product. It's, I think Pay Near Me is something really worth looking into. Not only Pay Near Me, but Pay Near Me uh, using Pay Near Me for Steel Series, so you can get the dev- the products that you like and that you want anyway. Yeah. So look into that. It's on the blog. It's also on the website. That's where you posted the interview. Was on the website at TechTalkRadio.com. I think more people should look into a service like that. That you know the kids are out there. They want to learn. They you know they they want to be able to spend their money. They may have they may have a pa- paper route. <laughs> Paper. Did I just sing paper route? We'll, they, we'll do it. If, we'll do it. Do they, We're not above doing it now. They may have a job. You know, they've got a few bucks coming in every month so or every week. This is a great way for them to go out and spend it without having to go out and get a debit card and, you know, do all this stuff. They just go to the 7-Eleven, pay the cash, and, and they're good to go. Problem is, we're in Tucson. How many 7-Elevens do we have? Like maybe three? You know what? How I looked it we up. Have? We've got five, I've at least five, I think, official, maybe seven 7-Elevens in really? the metropolitan area. Yeah. I know we have one up by the university, and that's the only one that I can think no, of. No, there are more. You just, you, when I went to, because I actually went to the 7-Elevens website to get more information about right? paying near me. So, but Seven Eleven is not the only place you can do it. So, you know, the, when you go to go to the Pay Near Me website to get more information about it. But I love the service. You go, you know, whatever it is, I don't know, five dollars, whatever it is, and it's not just Steel Series; it's other companies too. Yeah. You just put the money down. They send the funds up to the company. The company sends you whatever. They all, I think uh, Steel Series also works it so that if you want to, you can do PayPal. Which do pay, okay. pay, PayPal is great, but like as somebody like I, I just got paid for. I'm going to be. De- you're going to love this one. Mm. I'm DJing, mobile DJing a gig on Friday for a funeral home. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> so, so I'm working, sorry, in, the mor- I'm working in the morning on the air, and then at night I'm, do- I'm DJing a party. And the, the pay was actually pretty good mm-hmm. on it. But it's for, for a funeral home. They asked me if I would do it. What kind of <laughs> a party? It's Christmas party, holiday party. Oh, okay, all right. I'm like, you know, I'm thinking service of some sort, and, like for a customer. <laughs> oh no. no, no, no. <laughs> okay, I get um, it. Now. All right. And um, uh, the the thing is, is if you they have you know you can have them pay through PayPal. If they do, PayPal takes a percentage out of that. Obviously, right. they yeah. need to get paid for the service. But I think it was like uh, twelve bucks, thirteen bucks. They get paid mm-hmm. for doing nothing. Well, other than being a Somebody that aggregates the money, but yet they take four days to move the money from their bank to your bank. Yeah. And I think they do that as a security measure to prevent fraud. Which is, a, uh, you know what? Which I, I'm, fine. I'm okay with that because of the service, although depending on what they charge, taking four days to get the money to you. Yeah. Mm, I, I got a PayPal account because one, it was free to get the account. Two, I was thinking of that's a way for me to easily accept funds from people for different things. Well, like you, you give, uh, you've done that where I know you've done done computer support for Compu- people, and yeah. they say, "Well, I, I want to pay you for this. How do I pay you?" Yeah, computer support, um, also yeah. you know, voice work, whatever. Yeah, you know, service uh, services from a distance. Um, my, I, I'm rethinking. My, how much involvement I'm going to have with PayPal only because it's political, I admit it, only because of the whole WikiLeaks thing that's been going on. So I've been reconsidering if there are other services that I could use in place of PayPal. 
Um, one of them is I do have a Walmart card. Oh, there you Str- go. As strange as it sounds. Yeah. But, you know, I would give my Walmart card number out to people so they could put funds on the card and I could go get whatever it was I wanted or needed. That was the only other service I used. Uh-huh. Um, but, um, yeah, that's we got to <laughs> the whole PayPal thing. But I just, I just thought about mentioning that. So you're going to you're going to. You're gonna get paid via PayPal for the yeah they already they they already paid they paid before the event just to make I guess make sure I'll show up. <laughs> and I, and I was looking at I was looking at PayPal as like a because at the time PayPal was the biggest tip jar service that was yeah. around, wasn't it? Yeah, nobody uses that though. Yeah, I, I really don't think anybody does. Not anymore. We, yeah. we have one on our site. It never gets tapped. Yeah. You know, and it's like it's one of those things. It's there. Uh, there might be some someday we may. Uh, give you some great information and if you use it great if not no worry it's my only there. problem with, with paypal was I, when i look at and i've read it and i need to reread it again but how do you get like the money or cash out of your paypal account it's not no you have to tie it yeah you have to tie it to a bank account <laughs> yeah and i don't have a bank account yeah i, I let that go a long time ago because i just didn't need one well you tie it to a bank account and then they confirm that you're it takes you know you can have a you can confirm automatically if you have online banking by actually giving them your password, your username. Hmm. And you got to decide, do you really want to do that? Or what you do is you give them an account number, they'll make a deposit. You tell them, yeah, here's how much you deposited. It's a nice way to get an extra 19 cents or whatever amount they do. And then they confirm, okay, you've got a real account, and then they will approve it. Then what you do is you move funds back and forth. Yeah. Nice thing about it, you can pay with it. Mm-hmm. So if you find something on eBay, you find something online you say hey can i pay you via paypal uh most people will say well yeah okay i got a paypal account and then it works out pretty good that way i want something nice free and cheap for for the poor people that's the kind of service i you know i lock into i yeah. even use like the local check cash and yeah i know you know i know the charges are you know are more than they probably should be fairly but it's easy i know they're open 24 i go i give them the check i buy the money order to whatever you know? well if you notice that uh some employers like even my employer does it i'm not going that way but they'll actually pay you with a debit card. They give you a debit card, and they just load the money onto the debit card. No, that must be something new because yeah. I'm so used to employers either mailing you a check or doing direct deposit. Yeah. You know, and, and I would get, when, I, when I accepted direct deposit, I tried to go with banks that gave you free checking or free banking with a direct deposit. Right. Um, other than that, I would, rather the, I would rather the employer just hand me a physical check and I go to their bank, but that's been the problem because my last employer, which was Clear Channel, their bank wasn't local. It was, you know, big country nationwide bank. In which Texas, was, right? Yeah. yeah. So anywhere you cash that check, unless, you know, you, you, you had <laughs> an account, you know, they go, well, there's a check cashing fee of $3, $3.50, $4, whatever the fee was. So that, that was a problem I've always tried to avoid. Yeah. So it's always, it just seems, uh, you know, my next thing was going to be asking them, well, then pay me in cash. <laughs> yeah, take, take it out of petty cash because that's what I was getting paid anyway. Uh, <laughs> so. Oh, boy, I tell you. All right, so a uh, couple of the other things we want to show you that we did get in, uh, which I think is actually very cool, is, and we we, start, we started to go down the road for the Sprint Road, Yeah, and we got a little sidetracked. We're talking about the peel, uh, is the Galaxy Tablet. And Slick's got it over there on his side, uh, so I know Slick, you want to show that off. I will. I'll just pull up my notes here. This hey, is yeah. uh, this is from Samsung, uh, the Galaxy Tablet. Hold on, let me get a shot of you, shot of you showing the Galaxy Tablet off. There you go. Look at that. That is a nice looking tablet. Now it's, it's like when you do that. I think you're you're. I think it crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Wirecast is about to to wig out on me. Is it? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're going to take a quick break. Okay. Uh, when we come back, we're going to take a quick bake, reboot, basically. Actually, this is the perfect time, too. It's the halfway point. This yeah, is we'll give you a, a chance to go take a bathroom break and come back, uh, and then we will be back. And we're back with uh, more of Tech Talk Radio in part two of our show. This is the episode from uh, 12 11 2010. So uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're broadcasting uh, via the uh, Wirecast 4 interface uh, through Telestream. I want to thank Stephen Haywood from the TechBuzz.net for. Uh, providing us this nice little graphic uh, alignment to kind of get us started. We're 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 like kids on a tricycle, you know, you have a tricycle with training wheels. How about that? We're like kids yeah. on a tricycle with training wheels. We got it rolling. <laughs> That's and about it. Some, <laughs> we it, it'll it'll kind of go straight, but when we want to make a turn, it's a little tricky. And sometimes I feel like we're all going uphill. But um, I want to thank uh, Steve for helping us out uh, in getting us through that. We still have a couple of issues to work out, 
Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll, he says we all of a sudden. Well, yeah, if you'd come over once in a while, <laughs> be nice, slick. I, I never know when you're up and awake. <laughs> uh, there's a thing called a. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. Hmm. Uh, we're an audio video thing. Hmm. Uh, why don't you use Skype more often, buddy? For the most part, <laughs> yeah. um, because I don't know. I don't know. Here, here's the 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 the, the bot the, the. Here we go. Bottom line from Slick. Well, here's here's the basic answer. <laughs> But it can, you know, there's, there's more to it. But for the most part, there's nobody on Skype that I need to be connected with 24-7. Now, having said that, you know that I use Google Voice. I don't, here's what I don't understand. You know, we probably should can be, you voice we, chat on Google Voice? We should, probably shouldn't be airing our, our relationship differences here <laughs> in public. But since you, since you brought it up, mm. this is like an old married couple. Yeah, Look, go for it. I've got Google Voice. you got Google Voice. What is wrong with you sending me a quick text message to Google Voice all the time whenever I don't care when? What's wrong with Can that? I do that? I could send you a text message through Google Voice? Uh, oi. <laughs> All I have to do is load up my Google Voice and do that? Yes. Oh, you didn't know? no. That's why, that's why I stay on Google. That's why I keep Google Voice open most of the time because I can send and receive text messages and I can receive voice messages. You can call Google Voice anytime, anytime mm. and leave a message and I, you know, I check it <laughs> regular. And I know, and you don't even have, I mean, like there are times where you don't want to talk to me, but you want to get a message to me right, and you don't right. want to type it out. Right. Use Google voice. Go sick. I just want to let you know, click. And you can leave 10 of those in five minutes. I don't care. I don't care. That's what you heard for. him. Everybody. He doesn't care. I didn't care. You, <laughs> gonna, I don't know. He's going to get a lot. I don't know when I can't call. That's the problem. Uh, That's why I send you email a lot. <laughs> Because yeah. I don't know when I can't, I don't, you know, I, I can send you email at 2 a.m. I can't call you at 2 a.m. <laughs> no, you can't. See? <laughs> but Actually, I wouldn't even hear it because the phone's out here in the studio, so. Oh, now that I know that. See? <laughs> you call leave drunk messages. Because <laughs> when I used to, there are a lot of services that, that, that I wanted to incorporate, but especially between you and I, but you don't, you don't seem like you like them all that much, like mm. Yammer. Mm. Yammer was great. I think Yammer is great. Yeah, but which where did we'll, Yammer we'll get go? get into another time, yeah. huh? Well, I said, where did Yammer go? Yammer's still active. Matter of fact, they just really? released version two. Oh. And Yammer is great for tech talk radio team team members and crew. Right. Because we, we can just always communicate in regards to tech talk radio through that. Uh-huh. You're not all that crazy about it. I don't like Windows Live Messenger because you have to stay visible all the time. Yeah. I like Yahoo Instant Messenger because when I can I can let you know that I'm available and nobody right. else. Yeah, that's true. That you do have those capabilities. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yahoo, I I started using Yahoo again. We have a Yahoo one. It's Tech Talk Radio, uh, Yahoo, and then I have a personal one too. And mm-hmm. It's Tucson Valk. Um, but I, I the the Yahoo service I used to like, but now they've got this Yahoo Pulse thing. And oh, that, like, the Pulse. Yeah, don't worry about Pulse. Ignore Pulse. I've used it a couple of times, but I'm like, yeah. The, like they've it. tried some other things. Yahoo, they, they've they've tried some things that really haven't gone over that well. They also had like a Twitter. I think it's called Meme. Yahoo Meme. M e m e. Yeah. Which Meme. was Twitter esque. It yeah. was Twitter esque, but it's just, eh, you yeah. Know, it's just not that. It's just not there. Doesn't do it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, then because you, <laughs> you know what, I'll start launching Yahoo Instant Messenger more. Um, and and I have a Yahoo Instant Mess- Messenger professional account which. When I'm on Yahoo Instant Messenger, if, if I want to be available to anyone professionally, then I'll show all that I'm available. If I'm on Yahoo Instant Messenger and I need to focus on what Andy and I are doing, then I'll just show him that I'm, I'm visible. Right. See, that way, you know, and I don't get bothered by, and I know I'm using the word bothered, but it's true. I don't get bothered by my mother and my kids and that kind of thing because I'm trying to focus on what we're trying to do. All right. Now, let me ask you. Hmm. I, I, I know you do use Skype once in a while. If, uh, yeah. If you had something that brought it all in, would you be maybe a little more apropos to, to wanting to use that? It depends on the service okay, here's, and the features. Let me show you something new. Okay. Uh, you always like looking at something new. This is uh, from a company called Voxox. I'm on Voxox. All right. You you're on it. I'm on Voxox. Yeah. Voxox and I, I've been. I've, they've given me a service a couple of years ago. Um. In, in in all honesty, to Voxox folks, they know. I just haven't had a chance to really dive into it. And write a serious because I wanted to write a serious review. I didn't want to just say, "Hey, Voxox is available." Right. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to say, "Voxox is available." Here's what it does. Here's the good and the bad. Well, here's here's the deal with Voxox. From what I understand, it's I don't have a Voxox account. Why not? Well, I don't know. I never set one up. Okay. So I should do that, shouldn't I? I I don't know, and, and I'm 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 withholding that answer because 
I'm not at the position now where I can tell people Vox Ox is this is good about it and this is bad about it. I don't think it's I'm I'm not I, I don't I can't give you a fair uh, opinion and review. So I'm hesitant to say anything other than I love the Vox Ox people. They've been good to me. Right. They've been really good now, to me. What's the difference between Vox Ox and say Skype? Vox Ox, I can uh, make and receive telephone calls. Uh, some of them free, if not all of them free. I can. Right. I can. So you can they make them as well. Account. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They gave right. me an account to do that. Um, other than that, yeah, it is Vox Ox is a way of trying to integrate all of your instant messaging and tell and telephone communication services within one interface. So I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just couldn't give you a fair, uh, a fair meeting of, of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I, I, for you, Andy, I would say read all about it first yeah. before you join it. I'm not saying don't join it. I'm just saying read about it before you do. Uh, apparently they're going to be at CES with, um, you know, some announcements and some cool things that they're doing. And uh, they seem to be posi- positioning themselves. Mm-hmm really right up against Skype as an alternative, uh, a replacement for people who are maybe like saying, hey, I want to I want to get off this and maybe use something else. Yeah, Fox Ox, it is, but they've, again, those people have been really nice to me. And, 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 and I'll admit, we spent a couple of hours together, me and Vox, Vox, Vox Ox personnel. I'm talking about like the CEO and the vice president and their their marketing person. We were online and they, were, they walked me through all of the, uh, you know, a lot of the services. Right. Um, I just haven't had a chance to sit down myself and pick it apart. I, I did. Um, I did kind of like the look of it and the idea that you be bringing everything in Facebook, Yahoo, Google, AOL, you know, all of that Skype, even Skype. If you notice uh, t- Twitter, all of that into Vox Ox. So, yeah. you know, making it the grand poobah of it all. Yes. Yeah, so everybody do look into it. I mean, yeah, yeah. The, the, and they've updated it again. So. The uh, domain is voxox.com. That's V-O-X. OX.com. Yeah. And that's where you want to uh, want to check that out. All right. Let's get back to uh, to uh, definitely Sprint and the Galaxy tablet. Okay. All right, Slick, you've got it up there over there on your side. So let's go ahead and uh, first, basically, if you want to get information, you go to uh, Samsung's website. Hmm. You can check that out. Uh, let me go ahead and bring that up for you. And there, there it is. Uh, two cameras, which I just found out about yesterday while talking to my Sprint rep. Didn't know that there were two cameras. There's one on the back, one on the front that Slick will show you. Uh, it uses the Android platform. And um, I don't know, Slick uh, has got it in his hand. Slick, give us a, a thought of uh, the uh, Google, Gal- uh, the Google, the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab. Okay, let me say this. We're going to have this through January, so if you have any questions about it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Through January? Aren't we? No. Through the middle of January? No. Oh, sorry. Pardon me. Wait a minute. This is December. December sixteenth. It's got to go back. Oh, oops. <laughs> he said, "Here's here's here's why it threw me." He said, "We have it till the 16th, and I'm thinking January sixteenth. Oh yeah, wouldn't it be great to have through CES? Take that okay. with CES. Oh, I would love I it. I apologize, and I apologize. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here here's what I know about. All right. Galaxy Tab. Um. And again, Andy's gonna have it to the sixteenth. So if you have any questions, email him. Mm. But here's the top is uh, where the, the camera is, the facing, the camera that faces you. Uh, at the top of it, you have the headphone jack. Okay. Um, just double-checking to make sure. Okay. On the side here, uh, the mic. there's a microphone. Let me zoom in on you. Okay. There we, there we go. Did you get that? Yeah. Okay, so there's a microphone right there. Love that part. On this side... <clears throat> You have your power on and off, volume control. Whoops. Hold on. What? Sorry. <laughs> What'd you do? I knocked the camera. All right, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, power power switch, volume control, micro SD card slot on the back. This is the camera here, and that's the flash. Make sure I got that right. Yep. Flash, camera. On the bottom, your port. To connect it to the computer and, and charge it, and two speakers on on the on each side here. The sound is pretty good on. It. Yeah, um, let me just turn it on for you, everybody, real quick. Here we go. Now I haven't had a chance to play with it. I've had just enough time to look at it, download the handbook, and kind of skim through the handbook. And since he's got to send it back on the sixteenth, I'm not gonna. Get it. <laughs> God, I know. I wish we could have it a little longer. Yeah, I'll but at, at, at they run them by five ninety nine. I can tell you, though, from what I've looked at, I really like it, and I want one. 
Yeah. And I'll I'll probably say more about that towards the end of this. Now, yeah. does have the two cameras, which I think is great. Um, looking forward looking forward to somewhere in the future trying uh, communication, you know, video communication via the internet, via Wi-Fi, mm-hmm. um, as well as maybe some live broadcasting uh, and even taking pictures. Okay. Um, two external speakers, micro SD. Love that part. Yeah. Love the micro SD. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi. It's got Bluetooth. And uh, depending on which service that you get it from, like we got it from Sprint, um, also you can use 3G. Maybe 4. don't know. I haven't looked into the 4, but the 3G. Now, here's my question about the 3G. Uh, which we don't have probably don't have an answer for, but I'm yeah. just going to pose the question and we'll move on. My question is this: Can you buy what? What are the the costs of the service and what are the terms? Can, is it monthly? Can you purchase a year? Can you purchase unlimited? Is there a data plan? Uh, yeah. Are there there plans um, in it for? In, I can in, answer that for you. Oh, go ahead. Actually, uh, you can do the uh, uh, the tab, and then you can actually get the simply everything plan, and that'll work for the simply everything plan. So it basically, um, what you would have then is you'd have this data plan where you get online, you could use it unlimited with your data plan, you mm-hmm. use it with your, your basically your phone, your phone service as an extra aside to that. And then if you want to hotspot it, you can hotspot up to five computers with it for an extra 10 bucks a month. Okay. My, my uh, approach to it would be this. I'll buy the tab. Right. But I want, you know, for the moment... I want unlimited data plan. I don't need a cell phone. I, I just want this and unlimited okay. service. All right. Is that? Good question. Okay. <laughs> I'll I will, just I will contact leaving. Natalie uh, on Monday and we'll find out and I'll post it in our, our review. And here's why. And, and d- d- this is me. This is just because this is the way I live. I don't need a cell phone. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I like this. I love this. So right. I don't need a cell phone. This, I, if I can use this as a cell phone, I don't need a cell phone. Yeah, because it's as well. I put Skype on there. Yeah, yeah. and it's—I mean—it's got Bluetooth, so I can use an earpiece. You know, I can probably find if I wanted to plug a headset into it. I could probably find a headset that works with it if I wanted to. Can you show some of the apps that are on there? Um, Is that possible? I don't know if I can. I'll probably hand it over to you and let you do it. I'll unlock. There you go. Now you slide it. So you use the slide. Okay. There you go. All right, and to get the apps, right there in the middle there, you see the applications. Okay. Okay. And there you go. There's just and you could slide like left and right, and you could see more pages. I've downloaded a few. They didn't send it to me with the data plan intact, so I can't really do a hotspot with it. But, oh, so you have to use the Wi-Fi yeah. thing. But it has a tweet deck and um, it has some other cool features on it. Facebook, of course. But then you can go on to the marketplace and download all kinds of free apps. As I was uh, scrolling through their handbook, they talked about SMS and MMS ser- services. SMS being text messaging, yeah. MMS being multimedia messaging. See, again, I don't need a cell phone. I need this. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm willing to pay for the service. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I do have a Does, question. Let me ask you this. Now, you've, have you used a Galaxy, uh, an Android phone yet? No. Have you, you not to try out or anything like that? Closest I've come to the Android was uh, Google did release the Android operating system so we could download it, burn it to a CD, and boot a computer off the CD just to kind of right. see. And and it was the Android uh, operating system designed for you know devices, so it was a little a little kludgy. Right. Um, Somebody asked me the other day about that, and they said, "What what do you think about uh, the you know Google doing the whole well, that's thing?" And I said, "It reminds me of GeoWorks. I I kind of yeah. like it." I love it. I, I love it for this. It's more open than other operating systems in that genre that are available. So that's why I'm a big fan of Android. You know, right. no, no matter what other people have to say about it, that, that's bad. doesn't matter. It's more open. You win. In my book, <laughs> you win. I, w- I would like to see, and it's probably going to be available, um, I'll bet you somebody's going to develop an external key- keyboard for it or a keyboard you're going to use via the Bluetooth. I would love that because I'd love to sit this down and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, now, let me say this. Um, I, just off the bat, because of what I see and have read and know about already, and right now my judgment is, and we're holding out for iPad, iPad 2, this beats the iPad. I would recommend this over the iPad all the time. Well, we are, we are hopefully going to get an iPad in. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do like that two cameras uh feature on it like you see on the iphone um i don't know if the ipad we haven't had an ipad so we don't know if the ipad can even do that that's true i'm just basing off of what i what i know and what i think i know about the ipad right i would say get this over the ipad because 
of the features. I mean, it's got a microphone. It's got two cams. It's got the micro SD. I, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the features are there. The features, the, the features that I need, want, desire, they are there. Um, so, yeah, I'm, let me hand this to you in case you want to show off some other stuff. I also, honestly, I also like the fact, I really do like the fact you know me, I'm, I'm, uh, and I, I, I hate to sound like I'm a cheerleader for Sprint, but I do like their service. Okay, so Sprint's got a um, good service, and I pay for it yeah. when I can pay the bill. But uh, it's actually the most reasonable. Just give you an idea, you know, some of the. Now, one of the things here's here's the thing that people are going to ask: How is it on battery? Now, I told this to Slick, and he he was a little ama- You were a little amazed at yeah. when I told people about this. Um, I got to remember, this is Andy. We're talking to Andy. We're not talking to me. I wanted to really <laughs> test it out. Now, when did I receive this? I got this on... Uh, I want to say Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday. I think I got it on Wednesday. I have not... This is kind of cool. Got it on Wednesday. Uh, took it to work with me. Used it at work. And then put it in the box. I have not charged it since Wednesday. And it still has a lot of power. As you can see, it goes into sleep mode quite a bit. I let it go into sleep mode. I use it to access my email, my Facebook, and you know all the cool uh, t- tabs and and uh, uh, features of it, and that's it. I mean, that's plain and simple. And I have not charged it. Can't beat that. I really like it for that uh, for that fact. So I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm and that's probably with good it. for the average person. And I, and I, you know, for for what it's worth, I'm going to say Andy's an average person. I'm going to keep it on all the time and with at, with me on my hip. All the time in my hand, all the time. Now let's see how long it lasts. Because <laughs> I wear out devices like I wear out battery devices. I wear them out. Yeah. But I'm a super user. I, I overuse them. Well, now you get two gigabytes of inter- internal storage, and then you can add that storage with the MMC, yeah. the uh, the card as well. So that's uh, really nice, and, and we're pretty impressed by it. We'll Very a, impressed. We'll have a full review. I'll let you play around with that a little more since. Uh, you know, we got to send that back in the BlackBerry style that we played around when that was kind of fun, too. Um, I do want to mention this, too. We also got some products in this week uh, from our friends over at Western Digital. Yes, they've got some new drives out and wanted to show those to you. Folks over at Western Digital. You guys going to do you guys ever take a break about releasing products ever? Always <laughs> coming out with something new. Always <laughs> uh, interviewed a gentleman from Western Digital. Talk a little bit about. Uh, some of the cool things that they've got going on. Uh, and I want to show you, I want to go ahead and show you the uh, couple of the drives that we did get uh, so that you can get a, a good kind of an idea. That first off is uh, here's a my book. And I don't know if you can see the specs on this, but just to give you an idea, this my book is three terabytes, USB 3.0, <laughs> an external hard drive, beefy. It is a, I uh, believe this is. Um, does uh let's see to give you an idea what you can do with three terabytes uh let me see it doesn't give that you know they used to give those specs i don't think they do those anymore like one hundred twenty thousand photos and blah 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 and blah 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 but you can uh it it has a smartware software that's on it let me go ahead and show it to you those have never seen a my book before they're very nice they're very slim uh they've made them a little smaller than previous ones which I kind of like. Uh, this gives you an idea. This can sit very nicely on the desk. And then you get a light in here that will light up. And then you've got an on-off switch at the back. Um, I will tell you that this has been through its first stress test. Uh-oh. It has been dropped. <laughs> and um, it survived. It's a lot of... you got to be real careful about that. But, um, yeah, three terabytes of storage. Now... What would you do with three terabytes of storage, Slick? Oh, baby. I, I could get rid of a lot of external drives that I have. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I really could. Hear that, WD? <laughs> buddy Slick wants one. I, here's, <laughs> now, one, one downside, the only downside that I could come up with mm-hmm. uh, is, and I love the fact that uh, it's USB 3.0. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about my experiences with the USB 3.0 this week only downside that i found to this drive so far is the cabling uh yes you've got the standard usb so you can backwards compatible with usb 2 however the plug-in for this device is this is usb 3 yeah is a little different 
Uh, we have u- looked at some devices that use a USB, uh, the larger pin USB, you know, the kind I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, and they have an extra connector on it. But if you're just using a standard cable, you'd be fine. So you can't lose this cable. If you lose this cable, you're not going to be able to utilize that, that drive. So something to remember. Maybe buy an extra cable. Uh, but it is something to think about. But uh, they do that, and that, um, that of course, uh, differentiates the USB 3.0 function of it. But um, you could plug it into a USB 2.0 port if you don't have USB 3. And uh, you just that as well. You can also use it on a Mac. So you can have three terabytes on a Mac. We'll have that interview posted on our website again this weekend, too. And mm-hmm. more stuff. More stuff. Hold on. Let me go. Let me let me give you a look again. Caviar Green. Tell it. Can you do you know anything about Caviar Green? Mm, no. When you said caviar, I'm thinking about uh, the old model. Well, that it's, it's it's a model of a hard drive, right? Yeah. Exactly. It's Western Digital's brand. Okay. They have Caviar Black, and then they have you know different uh, different products. They also uh, sent us over to try out, and we're going to hard, hard drive tech. I, I don't know about you, when you test out hard drive speeds, how you test them out. Um, and we're looking at HD tech and maybe some other uh, – FutureMark just put out its new bench tests uh, programs as well. So Benchmarking software is great, however – you got to set like a real world example demonstration for people who are going, I, you know, I don't know people what does that mean to me. Yeah. yeah. People who use it for that. Uh, a um, three terabyte Western Digital Caviar green drive. Now, with the green drives, here, here's the, the thing to remember about these. The performance is different than you would find with a standard Caviar Black or a standard, uh, standard drive, I should say, uh, spinning at 7200 RPM. Okay. It's... It's ca- it's green because it's using less energy resources. It goes into sleep mode. Um, there's other features of it. So I have found with some of the caviar drives that, oh wow, I'm I'm not uh, you know I'm not gaming that well with this drive. Or you, well, no, you're not you supposed know, to. No, it's supposed to be a storage device drive. Yeah. You can have it in your system. Saves energy. It saves energy. You can have it in your system, and when you want to access your files, just be ready for a little extra couple of seconds. And then you'll have access to all of your files and, and to move them back and forth across. Probably my assumption is longer life, longer lasting. I mean, you know, uh-huh. that's what green technology is all about. You got to remember that portion of yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. Um, they sent over a little kit that went with it. And I want to I want to show you that little fly. <laughs> yeah, little, little fly visitor. It's a techie, techie fly. Uh, and this gives you the oh, hold yep, on here. Oh, yep, yep. Uh, if you don't have, and I thought this was kind of a, a neat little, uh, neat little card here. If you don't have, um, if you want to hook up uh, extra to PCI Express, nice SATA connectors. So if you're run out of uh, SATA or you don't have SATA but you have PCI Express or you don't have enough room, you want to add them, you can do that here with this. Uh, this will allow you to get past some of that the barriers that have been set up on previous systems. There is a barrier. Yeah. Uh, of uh, 2.192 gigabytes on um, some systems. And so they've, they've bypassed that with Windows 7. And In the future, when we have time, we need to do comparisons between SATA and USB 3 because depending on the entire configuration of the computer, depends on which is going to be faster. And some of the setups, SATA is going to be faster. Well, it, <laughs> yeah, uh, here's the thing. And I'm thinking eSATA, in in, uh, you know, when, when I'm comparing... USB three would say I'm thinking eSATA, so eSATA versus USB three. Well, and the gentleman at Western Digital I talked to um, told me that one of the things that they found is they had to put out the the USB version, the actual my book three terabyte out first. They had to do that first, and then put out the version for your PC. Because uh, there were problems with eSATA. eSATA, you know, you had the barriers to get through, and there were more configuration issues with e- with SATA than there was USB. More hoops to, to jump over. Interesting. So that's why they put out the MyBook first. But other than that, they've got them all worked out, and we'll, we'll test this drive out. We just got that this week. So we'll okay. give you the, the details and the rundown of that. All right, let me put this here before I drop it. Uh, one of the cool things we're going to be doing this week was going to be building a multimedia PC for um, just to, to show you how to do it. We'll be oh. shooting video on it. Uh, be doing oh, that'll that. be cool. Uh, I think a lot of people have said, well, I want to build a PC that does it all. 
Um, I want to be a, build a PC that can watch TV. I want to build a PC that can uh, listen to radio. I want to build a PC that I can play my movies off of. I want to build a PC that I can watch Windows on my big screen computer and utilize. Now, we're trying to get another copy of Windows 7 so we can do that. But I think we if we can install 7 and use it for 30 days, can't we? Uh, yeah. And get full use of it for 30 days. So I think mm-hmm. we'll do that because that's about how long we'll have the processor for. But Intel's sending us over an i7-850 uh, processor. We already have a board from Intel that we're going to use. Mm. We've got ATI graphics card. We'll, uh, we'll hopefully be able to use... Um, we have a couple of drives that we... I don't want to use the the three terabyte green because for multimedia, I don't know if that's going to that's gonna work for transferring movies while you know using it as a media center. Mm. I think we'd want to use like a Velociraptor or something along that line. So we may go that route. We have one. Um, and, uh, of course we've got, um, I believe we have six gigabytes of DDR three that we'll put into the board. So it should be fun. And we've already got our case, uh, put together and the case is coming from cooler master. So we'll build this multimedia PC. We'll videotape the entire process. We'll show you what we're doing, how we're building it. And, uh, we'll put that up on the website so you can check that out. I think that'd be a lot of fun. All right. Uh, I know you wanted to talk slick, uh, about, uh, uh, something else is going on, uh, an actual video game awards? Yeah, it's I found out cool. about this. Um, uh, the 2010 VGA Awards, video game awards, will be today, tonight. Um, it's in L.A. It's, <laughs> let's see, what, do I have the time here? Do you have the time on your screen? Apparently, uh, I didn't put the time. It's 8 p.m. Eastern, so Thank it'll you. be 6 p.m. our time in, in Tucson, 5 p.m. Pacific. For some reason, I don't have it on. You know what? You should probably check your listings anyway. Because depending on the service that you're using, whether it be satellite or cable, sometimes you have your east feeds and your west coast feeds, and the times are different. You know, sometimes you think you're getting it live and you're not really getting it live. So check out their website. It's uh, spike.com forward slash event forward slash VGA. Or just go to spike.com and then do a search for Video Game Awards VGA. Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> I like this guy, regardless of what anybody else thinks about him Ooh, for whatever guy? reason. I like this guy, MPH. MPH, MPH, MPH. Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, God, I love that guy. He's great. <laughs> I watch that show, um, uh, How I Met Your Mother. I love that show. And, I, you know, I never liked him. Uh, never liked, Never was crazy about Doogie, Doogie How- yeah. Hauser. Never was crazy about him. But he, afterwards, when he became an adult in his swagger, and, I, you know, whether you agree with his personal, I, I don't care. I just yeah. don't care. I like the guy. I like the his guy, presentation. Like fun. <laughs> you know, he's a neat dude. Yeah. He's going to be the host. Oh, is he really? <laughs> oh, man. I think that's going to be funny. I like that. Now, I've got a list of all the nominees in front of me for video games. Is there anything that you're interested in off the top of your head that I, I could look up? Uh, how Call of Duty. All right, let's how, see. Let's see how Call of Duty's doing. Okay, nominees. Game of the Year. God of War 3. Halo Reach. Mass Effect 2. Red Dead Redemption. Call of Duty Black Ops. Nice. Let's see, what else? I'm looking for other Call of Duty mentions here. Oh, Best Shooter. Battlefield, Bad Company 2. Let me pause here for a minute. I'll come back to this in a moment. Bad Company. Yeah. I saw the, the, the commercial for it when it first came out. Now, I may be thinking of Bad Company 2. I just don't know. But they made it seem like a fun, goofy kind of game. Was it Bad <laughs> Company or Bad Company 2? Uh, but I think Bad Company 2 was the one where it's... Uh, the characters had a sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then it's I think bad that's company. one you're talking about. It was a shooter. That's one I'd like to try then. Really? It would be Bad Company Now, what, would you be able to t- think that would run on your uh, uh, Alienware? Probably. Oh, we got to try that. Because my measuring stick is still and always has been, um, what's the one that's that barely runs on some computers? Um, it's crisis. Crisis, yeah. yeah. That's crisis. the one I always use. I always say, if I can't run Crisis, then the computer's no good. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so best shooter. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, nominees, right. Bioshock 2, Halo Reach, Call of Duty Black Ops. Seems to be somewhat of a little bit of a pattern growing here. Wow. For games. Um, what other... It's kind of neat. They've got Studio of the Year, Game of the Year, Xbox 360 game, PC, uh, PS3, Wii. What do you think is going to win for Wii? For Wii Game for of Wii the Year? For Wii Game of the Year. Um, I would think it's going to be the one of the Mario titles. Maybe even uh, the the fit titles. I don't know. You know, I hadn't even noticed that they had broken them out by, by platform. Donkey, mm, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Kirby's Epic Yarn, Metroid Other M, Super Mario Galaxy Two. 
I'm going to I'm gonna if I had to put money on it. Yeah. And and I I don't feel strongly about this. I'm just saying I would go with Super Mario Galaxy Two only because only because Mario has been a big deal forever. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I say if I had to spend money, I would spend it on Super Mario Galaxy Two because of the name recognition more than anything else. All right. So uh, let's see if they've got it. They've got a trailer for this. So let's see if we can get some of the audio up on this. I don't know if we can. All right, so I got to tell it for I'm, Mario. No, this is for the I think for the best shooter game. Okay, let's see. I don't know if we get the audio on this. Let's have a look. Uh, here it goes loading. No, I don't, I don't think because I think it's only pre- set up to run through through um, through Skype. Um, where is it? I don't know. No, I don't think it is. Okay. All right. So I'll have to. Well, if that's one of those bugs will work out. But yeah, so you might want to. I'm going to try. I've scheduled. Oh, sorry. I was wrong. Oh. What was that? <laughs> oh. It's weird. We're getting only like one channel. I think we get. Oh. All right, that's fun. <laughs> anyway, so sorry about that. So like, it's like, oh, no, right. hey, no. we have a chance to run some some video. I like that. Nah, that's fine. Okay. So you know, just thinking about video game awards, what what, what comes to your mind? Are you do you, some games jump up in your mind? Is there something in that you're really interested in other than well, Call of Duty? Yeah, I don't think it's it's all going to be like the the hottest graphics. I think it's going to be innovation as well. Mm-hmm. You know, you look at some of the, the titles that have been coming out for the Wii and for the Kinect, and, you know, I, I would think even though that's a fairly new platform, the Kinect uh, and, you know, Move, I think we'll we'll probably see some movement in that direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe some nods to that technology because that's that's kind of changing the way games, you know, the changing the way games are played. Uh, people want to be able to get more immersed inside of that. Um, Sims 3, still, you know, huge. Now it's on the consoles. So I think that's gonna be um, that's gonna be pretty big, um, I, you know. Other than that, I, I think the shooters have been kind of raining. They've been huge, and then Star Wars, the new Star Wars game. Uh, I'm, I'm dying to try that one, uh, but games with the prices that they're at now, it's hard to go out and say, "Yeah, I'm gonna get three, four games this month." That's uh, you know, that's a car payment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, by the time you finish buying all the games that you want to get. I'm, I was looking at some of the some more of the listings here. They even offer a best handheld game, which is fine. But they don't have what, what I was expecting to see was like best iPhone, best iPod Touch game. Ooh, now but that would be good. They don't have that category. I'm probably going to contact them, uh, the Video Game Awards, at some point and make a strong recommendation that. And you and people can disagree with me if they want to, but I think that. You know they have they have a lot uh, here for software and, and platform stuff, which uh, I'm fine. But right. what about accessories? I believe personally they should also start looking at accessories like best uh, headset, best uh, keyboard, best uh, you know that kind of thing, best mouse, that best would be, gaming. You know mouse. what? That, I think that would probably be almost like you know the Oscars uh, when you know they do the Oscars and then they show uh, somebody. You know, getting, getting a technical an award, award? They, a technical award. It's something they do off the cuff. They can do that one on the net or something like that. But that would be a great idea. It doesn't have to be done on television. I'm just saying. I think there's an award that should be given for that. Right. But then you know what? Then it's difficult because with a game, you're giving it to the developer. You're giving it to the artists that are behind it. You're giving it to a marketing arm when you're doing best headset, best keyboard, best graphics card. So I think. There might be some concern that they might tick off somebody. 
mm-hmm. you know, and then they take off somebody, and next thing you know, uh, that person's pulling their advertising. If they're ever, you know what I'm saying? I, and I know that, but it depends on who's. I mean, are we talking about is it or is this being done like the People's Choice Awards, or is this being done like the Grammys? Do you have a select group of people that are voting, or are you asking everybody to vote? Yeah, it's true. You know, true. and and then if you have a select pe- a group of people that are voting, which is fine, you know. Where do these people come from? Who's who's in the group? Are they people who professional game players, game designers? <laughs> you know, it's it as long as you set expectations and set you know uh, set uh, standards. Right. And say these are the people who have voted. That's why these people are winners. Then people will probably go, oh, okay, I get it. Then they understand. Even if they disagree, That's they can true. go, oh, okay, I get it. That's true. That's true. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We got about uh, ten minutes before we have to wrap. Um, a couple of things I know you wanted to mention. Uh, Rock melt. Uh, tell us a little bit about what Rock Melt is is all about. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, uh, Bliss is probably in beta, so let me say that up front. Probably still in beta, I believe. Although I'm looking at their website and it doesn't say beta, but I think it is. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, Rock uh, Rock Melt is a browser that's really designed and built for social networking. Um, you can use it with Facebook. You can use it with Twitter. You can probably use it with some other things. I've downloaded it, installed it once, and used it and tried it. It's not bad. I did uninstall it because of this reason. Whenever I log into it, it put me automatically available in Facebook chat. I have nothing against Facebook chat. I just don't want to log in and be available to everybody right off the bat. That's a problem I have. Right. So I quit using it for that reason and uninstalled it. Um, but, but I do recommend that if you're into social networking, especially if you don't mind the Facebook chat deal, being logged into Facebook chat immediately, go ahead and download. Now, when you download and try to use it, you will find that you're not going to get a whole lot of functionality of it, if any, until you log into Facebook. So you, you install it, you launch Rock Melt, and then you will find that it'll want you to immediately log into something, probably Facebook. So until you do that, you're not really going to have a whole lot of, of use out of it. But do take a look into it. It's rockmelt.com, R O C K M E L T. Dot com. It's a tool, you know, try it out and see if you like it. I, you know, I think they're on the right path, um, you know, as others are. It's just an option. So go, go ahead and give it a shot. Cool. All right. I like that. And then uh, another one that you had mentioned, uh, Slick, that I thought was uh, kind of cool, too, is and we've heard before is Flock. Yeah. Flock is doing some uh, cool things, too. Right. Now, this is Flock version three, and I've, I've used some previous versions of Flock. Um had had a lot of good things to say about Flock and and as with Rock Melt, you know there were some features about it I did not like, um, but I, I do recommend they th- th- when they started out with Flock version one, they started out on the Firefox um, with the Firefox browser, so they would build the services around the Firefox browser. Um, Flock version two, they jumped to the uh, uh, the Google Chrome browser, and I can't think of the actual terms that you use for the for the the platform that right. it's built on, but. So now they have version 3.5 3, 3. right now, 3.5.0. Um, so I, And I do use it on, on the regular. I do have Flock installed and I do use it on the regular. Go ahead and download it, install it, and try it out. You might enjoy it, just like you might enjoy uh, Flock. I still have um, Flock version 3 installed, and I do use it. Um, it works with, let me see if I can click over to a tab real quick, because I've got it open now. Um, it works with Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and flick flicker flicker yeah, yeah flicker and youtube um one of the things that i was disappointed in but this happened in free previous versions of flock as well so it's not just this version right but you can using flock log into multiple twitter accounts here's what my problem is i love i logged in my personal uh f- twitter account which i i use just really to communicate with my mother and I logged into my professional Twitter account, which is twitter.com forward slash slick. So I've got them. I'm logged into both, both in Flock. Right. I go to try to, to post a link or share a link, and I'm using it during Twitter, you know, using it, uh, sharing it through Twitter. Right. I found that it posted, I, I was trying to use my professional Twitter account, twitter.com forward slash slick, and, by, and it would always throw it into my personal Twitter account and not tell me. Aha. Uh-huh. So I've had to only log in to Flock using only my professional account to keep stuff from going to my personal account. Uh-huh. And, and in the reverse, if I would it seems that it would work out this way. I'm not saying it's the truth, but it would seem like if I logged into my Twitter personal account first 
and then logged into my Twitter professional account that if I tried to share a link or whatever, it would by default throw it into the first Twitter account I logged into, which would be Twitter personal in this example. Right. So I just now I just use one Twitter account with Flock. But overall, I like it. So I do recommend it. All right. Cool. Uh, I like that. I, and I've heard that name. I've heard Flock mentioned before. You know, it's one well, of those. if you remember, they sent us shirts. Oh, they did. I never got one. <laughs> yes, you did. I did. They sent you one. They did? I brought, no, you know what? They sent it to me and I brought it to you. Because sure? I only have mine. Absolutely. I don't think I, I got only one. have mine. I don't think I got one. <laughs> and I sent them a picture of me in it just to, to prove to them that we got them. I don't think I got them. I gave Was you I yours. Was I wearing one? Because, because, <laughs> and I, you know how I know you got yours? Because I don't, I don't because I don't fit your shirt. <laughs> So you wouldn't have gotten a, th- a 3X? I did get it, but I don't have it because I can't. It it look, you know, it looks better on you. Flock. You have to oh, look wait, through wait, all wait, your wait, stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that the one that says Flockstar? That's the Flockstar shirt, right? Ah, no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I did get it. And I do like that shirt. It's actually a very cool shirt. See, I actually <laughs> share the stuff I get. <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. <laughs> so now, show what you're taking home today. <laughs> you mean the the uh yeah you're taking that home today oh, okay. so i don't want people to think i don't ever we, give you anything no, that we, well we've talked about that you know so that's fine yeah there, there we go. showed you this yeah it's the um the cm storm sf19 yeah they told us that uh, they didn't need it back and yeah. we could uh hang on to it and i thought well slick you need uh something for your laptop so you go ahead and go ahead and keep it I'm looking for the, what's the name of the parent company? It eludes me for the moment. Uh, that parent company is Cooler Master. Cooler Master, thank yep. you. They also own Choice, that's which also makes. CM stands for. Now, the Choice, they also make a line, and that's C H O I X X. They also make some cooling pads for your laptops. But this one, this one is uh, is different. Now, we did a review, and I think we got an interview, right? Um, Up on the website. Yes, I believe yes, we did. Yes, okay. yes, we did. So if yeah. you go to techtalkradio.com, that's where the interview is right. that Andy did. And if you go to our blog, blog.techtalk.radio.com, that's where the review is that, that we posted to. Okay. All right. There's something else I want to show you, too. Let me grab this real quick. All right. All right. I want to Didn't we do that or you yes. want to do it again? Okay. Yeah. We already did it, but I want to do it again because the holiday gift giving season is here. And you might be thinking... What do I get? I want to show this to you again because I want to make sure some people who miss the cast right. get a chance to see this. Um, this is really cool stuff. Uh, this is from a company. It is called, uh, let's see, I want to say it's Prank. Well, let me let me get the actual package to show you. Okay. Well, what they do is they make prank gift boxes. All right. This was the best one. Everybody liked this one. The I-Arm, Forearm Mount. Prankpack.com. So go to Prankpack. P-R-A-N-K-P-A-C-K dot com. I'm going to be putting an actual review of the product up on our website because we like this so much. Uh, you know, I'm a bit nutty. I like stuff like this. You give them this box. It doesn't say, you know, prank gift box on it. You give them a box just like this. They think they're getting the eye arm, forearm mount. And maybe inside you got a pack, pack of socks. Well, look at what you can do with this. I mean, this is innovation and creativity right here. You know, remote controls. Food, <laughs> Kindle, you know, iPad, the whole bit. Uh, obviously, the, these are not real products, but that's a lot of fun. Prankpack.com, you can order a whole bunch of them. So I want to make sure that you're all aware of that. Okay, something very important I want to tell you about. If you're using USB 3.0 in uh, PCI Express cards, something we found out, we like to expand some of the stuff. When we're building computers and doing all of this, you know, what is it that um, uh, some things that you need to think about? Uh, if you are using a USB PCI Express expansion card, do not think you cannot hook up your power supply. You can if you're not using uh, two, say, uh, if you're using just use USB 2.0, uh, you could do that. But if it requires and you're plugged into a PCI Express and you want to get through USB 3.0, you need to hook up that power connector. And it usually will come with some kind of an adapter so that if you don't have the, you know, the four pin connector or you need to use a Molex uh, type of connector to, to make the bridge, you can do that. Now, Slick, do you have a card over there? No. For I the, I, I gave it back to you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just to give you an idea, 
we uh, we ran a uh, card and we couldn't run, understand why our USB 3.0 device was shutting down. And then we found out, oh, the reason it's shutting down was because we weren't using the adapter on it. Hold on, let me see if I can uh, just really quickly adjust this here. And there we go. All right. Okay. And uh, just give you an idea what these cards look like here. These are little USB expansion cards. You got the PCI Express slot right here. You know, we looked at one of these earlier. It was uh, for SATA for the three terabyte drives. All right, that's USB 3 right there. So what you want to do is make sure you hook up that power connector, which is right here. And this uh, this one that came to us, this is from ASIO. Uh, we have an interview up on our website uh, as well about some of the ASIO products. It comes with a little install disk. But uh, here's the little connector. So you, you use this, just plug it in here. And then, of course, this plugs into the regular power supply. But use the power supply. Don't think you, because otherwise it may give you a warning. Hey, do you want to format this drive? And you might accidentally say yes. And next thing you know, if you click happy, you've lost data. Yeah. So something to think about. Great devices. I, I, but I'm just saying make sure you use the uh, power connector for it. Also, on these cards, too, even though it's a plug-in card to your computer, mm -hmm. you'll want to install the software first, just like you used to do with USB. Install the software first, and then it will tell you, shut down your computer, install the card, and when you reboot, it'll find the card. So on most of, most of the cards, we found that to be the case. Uh, and the two cards we've tried have used the NEC chipset, and that's possibly a reason. All right, it is uh, 12.02. I know we got to wrap because uh, got to go to work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do two quick things and we're out. Please, yes. Uh, quick, one quick thing is uh, check out the Google Chrome Web Store. If you haven't uh, this week, they released it. it. There's apps in there. It's available. I won't go into all the details. Just one. No, wait. Is this? Wait, let, we'll, I have to ask. Is this an OS then? Is because people have been saying it's a Google OS. Ah, two different things. Yeah. Two different things. Okay. The Google Chrome OS is going to be released and embedded in hardware, in little netbook, notebooks kind of things. All right. Okay, that's that's what that is. Okay. I'm talking about the web store for applications for Google Chrome, the browser, and the operating system. Ooh. So first of all, if you don't have Google Chrome, the web browser installed, go ahead and install it just because you'll like it. Um, I, I, I highly rate it. You, and even if you don't regularly use it, install it. I mean, there, there are good reasons to have it. Okay, that being said, um, once you get the browser installed, Go ahead and check out, and if you need to do a search, and it'll pop right up, Google Chrome Web Store. Lots of apps in there, lots of free stuff. Check it out. I'll let you, I'll let you browse and figure that out on your okay. own. Um, recommend it. And just uh, quickly, on our way out, uh, somebody in the chat room asked about it, and I was going to mention it anyway. The mustache? Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> last month, November. Uh, I was growing a mustache in support of uh, Movember, which was uh, <laughs> Men's uh, Cancer Awareness. Okay, so because okay. the month before October was was women's uh, uh, cancer awareness or women's breast cancer awareness, right. so the next month November was Movember M Mustache November uh, for men's cancer awareness. This month December is I'm growing now, so the mustache will disappear, but I'm growing sideburns. <laughs> oh, the, we got to see that. Wait, let me see those sideburns. Here's, here's, here's the the chops. Side, I just started. Yeah, yeah. The, the mutton chops. Um, it's December. So if you're interested, D E C E M Burns dot org. <laughs> And we'll, we can talk more about it later, but I just wanted to mention it real quick because somebody asked about it in the chat room, and I'm done. There you go. All right. We wrap a uh, Tech Talk radio cast for Saturday at a, a good time. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week. Uh, it'll be the, let's you see. You say it with a question mark. Next week? Uh, yep, we'll be back next week, the 17th, December 17th, uh, for, no, December 18th. I'm sorry. My Why don't math you is a off. calendar? Yeah, my math is <laughs> yeah. off. <laughs> Uh, if you get a chance, uh, you can tune into uh, KHIT 107.5 on Friday morning from 9 o'clock till 2 o'clock Pacific time. Uh, I'll be spinning some uh, classic hits of the 60s, 70s, and 80s, so I hope you get a chance to tune in for that. Um, and uh, throughout the week, now we're, we're just getting up to speed with Wirecast and running it. I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm liking it. I do like it. I really, I really like it. So as we get more familiar with it, uh, and we do some other things with it. We're going to try some some other th techniques. Again, I want to thank Steve from the techbuzz.net. Make sure you check out his show. He's on what? Uh, 
Thursday, Fridays, and Tuesdays. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, he does. Right, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. Right. All right, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and uh, check out his show as well. He did the the layout for us, as you can see, and you can kind of tell because if you watch Steve's show, you see yeah, that kind of looks like Steve's <laughs> show. Hey, they um, ripped it off. No, he gave it to us. <laughs> he gave it to us. <laughs> uh, but we are working some other things too, so uh, be kind of cool. And uh, I just got to say, you know, this business—it's nice to be able to make connections and make friends. Uh, to uh, to people and and there's a lot of good people out there and, and Steve is one of them so thank you very much um, uh, check out our website uh, throughout the week check out the blog the website techtalkradio.com and the blog you blog put up, that techtalkradio.com you put up some good stuff this week too yeah also we have the forums too so check those out when you get a chance we, we try to put up things that we can talk about and discuss because so we get various uh, points of view and opinions yeah we'd love you to sign up for the forum I mean you don't even have to post anything I mean it's it, seriously the the ratio is about um, ninety nine per ninety eight percent spammers versus users. Uh, we take it very seriously. We we try and block all spam. Yeah, don't worry about the spammers. In. Andy takes care of that. I take care of all that. It's a lot of work. Uh, but we really want users in there that are going to participate. Um, and if you don't want to participate, fine. But we'd love it if you registered because we go to we go to our people and they say, well, how many people got registered on your forum? And they say we tell them hundred. Hmm. They go, oh, that's pretty good, you know. And it is the most visited area. On our Tech Talk Radio domains. Yeah. And in addition to that, I mean, if you may want to make a comment, and it doesn't have to be a long comment. If you, I mean, if you like something, say, yeah, I like it, or I don't like it, or whatever, just quick and you're out, done. You don't, you don't have, don't feel like you have to post a soliloquy. It's not necessary. Right. Or a, que- a question. We love questions. Yeah. I'd like to get more tech questions on there. Um, if you've got a, pro- a problem with something, uh, we've got a great group of people uh, that are already registered with the forum Linux people, Mac people. PC people, uh, Photoshop people, uh, Dreamweaver people. I mean, anything, I think, uh, will be even even people who have fixed gas ovens. That be me. People, people who need. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. All right, we got to kill her out of here. Gloria made us some sandwiches. Yay! For we the could, road? Uh, could be for the road. She's going with us, so thank you very much. One for you and one for me. Uh, nom, nom, they, nom. they smell really good, too. All right. Um, and they're warm. We'll be back. Uh, look for us throughout the week, too, as we'll be uh, firing up webcasts once in a while for interviews that we'll be doing uh, via Skype. If you're a company and you've got a product or service you'd like featured at techtalkradio.com, feel free to drop us an email, andy at techtalkradio.com, or even slick at techtalkradio.com. And we'll, we'll give you more news next week on whether we found slick sponsorship to get slick to Las Vegas. Send money, please. <laughs>